2.4, we've got Spectrum, Futaba, JR, XPS, Grabner, and last month announced in the States, the Airtronic Sanguar full frequency hopper. Uh, there is no technical information on that yet, we'll see. I suspect it'll probably be very much like Futaba, but hop on a slightly different frequency. And on 5.8 gigahertz, we haven't got anything yet, but I think it's a key case of watch this space. There are some European regulation changes in July of this year, and it's quite an interesting story. Um, there's one bloke in the Western world that knows more about it than anybody else, it's Dave Wilshire. Dave, would you like to have a quick run through on that? No? Okay, what do we think, mate? <laughs> you love me now, you can go on. I wouldn't say I really know much about it. Um, I had a meeting in Germany last year, one of the big shows, and there was a guy who used to work for a few Darba, um, who were always respected since he sorted out problems. We had the helicopter gyros years ago when anyone's flown helicopters, I don't know, thought it was evil by some, uh, went on about drifting on gyros, and then we went on about temperature drift, and this guy turned around to me in a, in a bar in Germany one day and said, it's nothing to do with temperature, it's to do with moisture. When he sat down and explained it, it made absolutely perfect sense, and, and he proved to be right. So I've always listened to him since then. But he told me last March that there were going to be issues come this time of this July this year, July August. They're now saying, and this is to do with the car manufacturers, and they've been investing a lot of money in 2.4 gig reference um, servicing and fixing problems on car ECUs. Uh, you know, we've all got more and more complicated cars driving around the country. Um, and they wanted a system where if it broke down on the side of the road, they could back into it with the 2.4 system, maybe reset the ECU and get you going again. And because of the big German car manufacturers, Volkswagen, Mercedes, Porsche, etc., and all spent millions and millions of euros on it, they were a bit worried about our city model has been on 2.4 and all, all the other things, and, and basically upsetting their system. Now, I don't really know what the outcome is, and I know that there's something else happening October of this year in Germany, but I haven't actually got through the translation yet. There's something about it in one of the German model magazines, but I'm not really sure exactly what they're saying. But there's been lots of talk about the Spectrum system not conforming to all these regulations that they want. Um, and the long short is I don't really know what the outcome is going to be. There's possibly going to have to be some changes to the system to actually meet the rules that they're going to bring in. But what I've been told is that we'll be able to use the systems that we have, um, but they might develop it further and change things very slightly. But the problem is in the model industry is we're all a bunch of pussy cats digging at each other with claws. Uh, of course, if you listen to the few time people, they'll tell you one thing, and if you listen to the JR people, you'll, you'll hear something else. So really, the, the jaw is out. I don't really know what the situation is, um, other than the fact that some sort of legislation will change July of this year. Um, as has already been said, in France, they're very, very jumpy about 2.4, and they allow the poor French 10 milliwatts. So that's what we had when we had the DX6, the first one for indoor flight, and the car people, I think, were using 10 milliwatts as well a few years ago. Um, and, and that's all they've got to fly on, so they haven't really got anything worth anything. Uh, Germany initially also sent 10 milliwatts, but I think they're now back up to 100. Um, but when we went to Germany last year, we, we had quite a funny situation because I took jets on 2.4 gig and said to the organizer of this big German show, you know, am I allowed to use 2.4? And he sort of shrugged his shoulders and said, yes, of course. And I said, but the German post office doesn't legalize it in Germany. And he went, the German post office doesn't come to my event. <laughs> <laughs> Which was interesting. Um, but certainly there's some more information to come through on that and I, and I don't really know honestly, exactly what the outcome is other than this fact this guy Klaus Westerall said that we will have to go to a frequency hopping system more than the spectrum system is as has already been said although a lot of people look at uh, spectrum as being completely fixed on frequency it's not but it may not conform exactly as it is at the moment um, I believe when Paul Beard was over here getting his award last year um, he was talking to various authorities trying to argue the case that it did conform. Um, the way I understand it, rightly or wrongly, and I haven't looked into the theories because, as a lot of you are probably asking us as we're going through the theories here, does it work? Yes, it does. And that's most people's interest. Um, but Paul was certainly looking to prove that his system would conform as it is without having to make any changes. 
the way I understood it is the spectral system actually puts out slightly more power because of the way it averages. Is that right? Basically. Um, so that's the situation as far as that goes. Anything else to say? Uh, I, I wouldn't make a couple of points about <laughs> Those point about existing systems is very interesting because most of the commentators are saying at the moment, whatever happens about these changes in July, October or whenever, that grandfather's rights will apply and that existing systems will, will be permitted to continue to use. So don't worry about going and if you want to go and buy a spectrum system, go and buy it. I've also had some interesting arguments. As, as some of you know, spectrum basically works on two channels once it's in operation. Um, this whole argument about frequency hopping and 100, 100 uh, milliwatts is a very interesting one. Because if you speak to someone, they'll say to you, well, spectrum isn't technically a frequency hopper, but when you turn spectrum on, what does it do? It looks across the airways, it finds two spare channels, and it hops to them. In exactly the same way, XPS is nominally, XPS Grabner is nominally a single channel system. It does exactly the same thing. When you turn it on, it looks around and says, is there a channel for me to use? And it grabs it. In the event of interference on XPS and Grabner, because it's a two-way system, the receiver actually says, there's too much interference coming through, too much noise, guys, and it actually instructs the transmitter to hop to a different frequency. Now, this is all very interesting, and what constitutes frequency hopping and what doesn't. The fact is that these systems actually start off searching for frequencies and actually moving around them. What they were saying about power is an interesting one that we've heard not all that long ago about people that were buying the early spectrum systems in the US. Now bear in mind that although on, on 2.4, almost all applications in Europe are limited to 100 milliwatts, in the States you can have up to one watt of power on spread spectrum systems. That doesn't mean that people do, but they're, you know, it seems quite clear that some of the US stuff that was made and imported to the UK before it was actually being, uh, it was type approved for sale in the UK, were actually putting out RF power above 100 milliwatts. I don't think there are many of those systems around, and in, in real terms, it probably doesn't actually make any difference. Uh, you know, if you're putting out 150 milliwatts in a flying field in Hertfordshire, what the devil is it going to interfere with? Nothing very much. That's broadly speaking what we've got to say. These guys here are very happy to answer questions. If you've got questions on 2.4 or spread spectrum in general, please go on now. <laughs>